Hello everybody, it's Christo again, and um, I really, really hope that some of you will do something for me. I want you to go over to uh, Tom DeLong's website and check out that footage that they just ran on CBS. It's a floor camera footage of, believe it or not, the jellyfish UFO that I just posted on YouTube. I want you to go and compare the movement and how the object is moving to the military people who filmed it in the footage that Tom has, where the object, once again, like I said, isn't flying. It's moving in space. And remember in that footage that Tom posted very generously, thank you, Tom, um, the object doesn't seem to be affected, right? Because it's not being affected by the high winds at all. So this, once again, positively reaffirms what I've been presenting to you. Now, once again, um, there's all kinds of new information that's come in during the course of my research. This crazy stuff. So, you know, we're working it out. But what I find very fascinating is that in tandem with the orbs kind of thinning out and you know, becoming very scarce. Actually, they haven't been around for the last week or so. This jellyfish that I haven't seen for two years, boom, shows up. And the first thing I notice about uh, Tom's footage is the craft keeps doing this. It's that rocking thing that all of these objects do. And um, this is what I mean when I say UFOs don't fly. They move in space the way we walk around. So, um, I've got to say, please everybody, check out that footage of the last jellyfish thing that I filmed the, uh, last night and the other one as well. There's two jellyfish footages on there. And um, tell me, if it doesn't, because my footage in four, is in 4K and it's in color, so there's that, you see the color, but if you watch, you will see very clearly those two objects are moving identically. They're not flying, they're moving in space. And these things can come in and out of our space through time corridors and you know they can shift um, you know, spatially. So um, to see that was very refreshing. Um, Thank you all very much, and uh, I'm working on other stuff, but of course, I don't manufacture my footage. When I see something, I put it out. So in the meantime, there may be a couple more music videos or what have you. I went out uh, and was on my balcony, and I went down to walk the dogs. I wasn't there to film or anything, and there were just helicopters back and forth, back and forth. I don't want to sit there and film that helicopters <laughs> it's not my thing so when I see him I just <clears throat> turn around and go the other way it's the best thing I can do and like I said um, this jellyfish thing indicates some kind of signal to me that the party's not over and that they take measures and like I told you oh by the way I saw this thing about a guy in Canada find out more about that soon. Um, a gentleman posted a thing where a farmer encountered five discs in his field while he was mowing in one of those big tractors with these huge combine things in the front. And something he said in his interview was extremely telling, which was that there were five objects, three of them were large, and two of them are, were smaller that when they lifted up, the smaller ones were protecting and orbiting around the big ones, just like in the 24-minute shot. So here we have multiple examples and confirmations of things that I've seen and shown you being spoken about and shown as, <laughs> I mean, that's military footage that Tom put up there. That's, that's no spanky footage. That's the real McCoy. I think it's really important, though, that you guys support me in you know this this quest I, I really think it's important for Tom to understand we've both seen the same objects that's relevant 
because Moffat Field is right on the other side of those mountains, as well as Skunk Works and a whole bunch of other guys. So anyway, peace, over and out. Thanks for your time once again. Much love to all of you, my fans. I'm trying to do as much as I can. It's been really hard this month. So anyway, peace. Merry Christmas to all of you, too. Um, uh, yeah, over and out.